Hey guys, guess what? I am live from Banksy's Waldorf Hotel here in Palestine. Um, you've probably heard of the graffiti artist Banksy. He just opened this hotel, um, like within just a, when did he open it? Like today's today? Official opening. Today yeah, is the opening day. Here. And so there's a lot of press and I'm the first wheelchair user to be in the hotel. Um, so right now we are in the piano bar room. You can see there's art. Um, it's a really cool vibe. And the view out that window, as you can see, is um, up the wall that separates Israel from Palestine. Corey Lee, Corey Lee, who's now the first wife. First wheelchair. It's a little bit of 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 a little bit
So right here, as you can see from the quotes from many people, are um, different people's like opinions of the wall. So some think that it was built to stop terrorists. Um, some think that it protects them. Um, so there's a lot of different views, and it isolates the people. Is this the whole museum? That's it. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. It's I think there's a lot of it. That's one part of it. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Can we go in there? Yeah. So it says approach an inspection point when it becomes free. These causes are bitterly contested by the Palestinians and strongly criticized by the world at large. Since the Oslo process in 1993, the population of settlements has doubled to 570,000. In 2016, the United Nations unanimously called the settlements a barrier to peace. So Israel has been forced to stop building any more. Ah. Well, there you are. And if you're not completely baffled, then you don't fully understand. Goodbye. first people to ever come in this museum actually. Um, so it's really cool um, that it's opening day. Elizabeth Fox says happy Hey Elizabeth. So we're still in the uh, Waldorf Hotel. This is the museum, and in case you're late joining, um, it's opening day here, so it's uh, kind of a big deal, and I'm really excited to be here. But um, yeah, so I'm glad you guys got to see the museum and some of the hotel. As you can see, this is um, right here is the wall that separates Palestine from Israel. What are these over here? Recovery fragments. What are the shoes in the case? It says that um, the case contains objects recovered from different bombed buildings in Gaza. Each set of objects here tells a story of lives torn apart. That's what the sign says. I'm not telling you what they do uh, did from Gaza over to Israel. Ah, 
Like, like come and snort <laughs> uh, Do you get that one? Like, like come and snort oh, <laughs> I took a picture of that outside. It's out there. Oh, yeah. There's pictures of what's really on it. Yeah. Almost no walls. We like almost. <laughs> so, we want them to tear down the wall, huh? There's a guest book that you can sign. You want to sign it? Yeah, sign it. Yeah. Her three was going to What made you decide this trip? Since um, I'm actually here because I'm going to be speaking at a travel conference tomorrow in Jerusalem. I'm at TBEX. Um, so yeah, I'm speaking with Ellie, who is here with us. Hello. <laughs> he runs the um, accessible tour company Israel for All. Um, so if you haven't heard of it, definitely look it up, um, israelforall.com, or it's on Facebook. I mean, he does accessible tours all over the country. This is my second time touring with him, and he's uh, awesome and does some really good tours. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and hopefully we'll do a group tour in the near future. Yeah, so thanks so much for uh, joining us on tour. <laughs>